What's happening folks and welcome to another episode of Stars of Tomorrow, an FM21 series. We look at some young talent on Foot Manager and we see how we get on the course of their careers and we evaluate them based on what we see from that information. If you're excited for this episode, hit the like button down below and subscribe if you're new to have daily content on the channel from four different series on the channel. I did a video every day to explain what's happening. Essentially, every other day you get one of these videos, next day you get a Let's Play video and then Resident Evil and also FIFA career mode, same kind of thing. Um, if you want to get involved in this series, you can make your request. I will say, these are the criteria you've got to meet. First of all, um, ideally, put well, not ideally, definitely put it in the Discord the section there called Stars for More Requests. And if you can, and it's a player you've seen developing your own save, put a screenshot from the game in there so I can see what level they get to. Um, because I'm trying to find the best gems. Unfortunately, it seems at the moment they're just they are struggling. I do my own way of finding those things out as well. Uh, I'm considering doing something different with how I do the reviews. Um, I'm going to experiment, experiment with offline with a couple of players I know are, can become really good. So I'm going to experiment with it um, and I'll explain if and when that works, how that will go, how that will go. So today's player is, again, um, one of my own players I found myself, Ronald Arageo. Now, down below in the comment section, in the description, sorry, in the description is the schedule for, this, for the series. So you can see the dates when they're going to go live each week player so make sure your player is not going to be done twice so a defender from Barcelona who straight away the key stats are heading 16 marking 15 and tackling 16 you've got good jumping reach which is which is six foot three and passing is key because he likes to play out of trouble and he's got 12 passing so I'd be slightly concerned by that um but is it again we can't really judge that can we really in terms of how he pressed the ball on the back, we can't see that. Um, so looking at a scout report I did for him here, which is essentially uh, he's got um, no, that's the wrong screen. There we go. Um, three and a half star ability, potentially four and a half. Um, the main act, the main attributes that stand out for the for the pros are consistent performer, good in the air. Uh, those are the two that stand out to me. So that's the key I like to see in my, in my defenders, a consistent performer. So what is his player trait looking like? So we've got a reasonable left foot and a very strong right foot and likes to play out of trouble. Now obviously Barcelona have got a £183 million transfer um, lease clause on him there. So let's see how much they did ask for him actually. Like £99 million. Pounds. Right, okay. Let's try 60 Right, so th again, it's just a very quick negotiation to give you an idea. I'd, obviously I wouldn't do this Myself in real in in a real save, I'd go more in depth. But just to give you an idea about how much how much this guy will cost you if he's had to go, I like him a lot. I like the bravery and anticipation as well, and the leadership. At 21, 21, 16 leadership is very good. Right then, first jump, let's go. Right, folks, twenty four years old now, and seventeen heading, sixteen marking, uh, tackling sixteen, passing up to thirteen, staying. Bravery and submission 16, leadership and positioning as well are good. Pace is good. Not good acceleration, but the pace is good. 15, good strength as well. We've got some new player traits on him here as well, which are marks opponents tightly, tries to play out trouble, stays back at all times, avoids, avoids using weaker foot. For the reason he's putting left wing at some point. Now, obviously, we're going to look at injury record as well. See how he's, he, he, he didn't warn us he was injury prone, and I don't think he's based on that. Career stats, we can look at these if you want, but me, he's a defender. Not two goals, one assist. I mean, I think you're looking at a guy here, six foot three, good strength, good heading. If you could, if you play set pieces, you can get more out of him. Um, I don't have obviously, we don't have Arsenal playing, but if you if you be, if you become set pieces yourself and want to work on that, then you can definitely get more. You definitely could be could be a goal for it from there. I think also defensively, from a defensive point of view, I don't think you're going to see many goals from the piece if he's in the team. Um, he's be handy. Um, what's the current? Who knew 61 million pound release clause? So still a squad player at Barcelona though. But this is one this is one simulation of the player. Every save different. So that could be something to look at. If he's not if he's, if he's a squad player on the contract, maybe you could work and get him in, but again, he's playing a lot of games at Barcelona, so every save is different, I suppose. So let's continue. Next jump. As you can see here now, we're seeing a plateau in the stats. There's not much drop drop down which is good to see um the start the, the development still the same which is good the injury record is not concerning me at all i like that injury record it's pretty damn good um career stats again not really relevant three assists though for defenders pretty interesting 
five assists for the defender, three and two, zero, and then two and four. So he's got something about him at least. I mean, I mean, I don't know how he's getting assists. Maybe, maybe, maybe I suppose it could be a set piece. He flicks it on, then they head it in. All that, that could be a way he's doing it. But I like him a lot. He's, I think the one thing I would like tries to play a trouble. He's getting that pass on like 14, maybe 15, if you can work on that. Just, it's just, it, I, I, I personally would worry about that myself. Uh, if I saw that, I'd be like, well, 30 passing, like to play out of trouble, could be a problem. Um, potentially. Um, but maybe it isn't. Depends how you, if you're playing CDM, maybe, easy pass off on the back, I don't know. Um, so yeah, he's got, he's got the pace, he's got a jump, got a jumping reach, good strength, good concentration, Good anticipation, good leadership. There's a lot of good things about this guy. So I'm giving I'm giving a rating of seven point five. Uh, no, eight. Eight out of ten. I think he's very solid. I think um, just that passing is a bit concerning for me personally. But you guys let me know in the comments section if you've signed this guy yourself and if he has been has it been an issue for you. Right, foul jump guys. We want to see how he's mainly how his stats and mental stats develop in the next when he gets to thirty years old. All right, folks. So. Again, 16 pace at 31 years old. Pretty damn good, if I'm honest with you. I'll start it, I'll start, start it short here, a bit shorter than usual, because we're not going to see much development at this point. I like it. I like him a lot. I think, get that passing a bit higher, you've got a solid player here. Unfortunately, we didn't see a transfer fee, which is disappointing. We didn't get a transfer fee to look at. Um, that's, that's disappointing. Um, but I think with a lot of money, I think the, the pros, consistent, good mental stats, Good physicality and good um, kind of technical abilities into the heading, marking and tackling. Downsides, the passing could be an issue and it might be a quite expensive player. But good, solid centre-back and a good age. If you can get my Barcelona or manage Barcelona yourself, you've got a player here. So yeah, thank you for watching folks. If you enjoyed the episode, I hope you have. Hit the like button down below. Just help the algorithm, sort of it, help, help the algorithm and subscribe if you're new as well. Like I said down below, you can get involved in this call and get your player, su player suggestions in there. I would say put a screenshot of the player. If he, if he develops and you say that'd be ideal so I can find those players. Like I also said, I've got an idea of doing something to try and like get the max potential out of a player. I don't, I'm don't. i going to do experiments offline and a couple of players, a couple of players I know can develop really well um, and see if that makes a difference. I'm going to try. Um, and then also down below is schedule so you can see who's coming up next. So if you do make a request, you can check that first and make sure that your play has not been done already or plans were done already um, so you don't waste time making a request. And every day, 10pm, I update the schedule on new players. Obviously, not nearly so much now. Uh, new players going on because I've got quite, quite a list. Like I said also, every other day, it goes live on 6pm every other day. So a lot of reviews coming up soon. We, we, I think we'll hit 100 episodes in this series for the FM. So yeah, thank you for watching, folks. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you all next time. Bye-bye.